Today we're going to be writing this particular quadratic function in vertex form. This is in a quadratic form, and remember quadratic form is ax squared plus bx plus c. So we want to change it to the vertex form, and if you don't have this written down, take the opportunity to please do it. So we want to go from the quadratic form, we want to rewrite it in vertex form. So vertex form, remember, looks like this y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Remember that h, k is the vertex. And of course your a value is the same a value that you see in the quadratic form, which the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look and see what our a value is. Our a value is 3. So since our a value is 3, we know that this parabola is going to be tall and skinny, and it is going to be opening up. So if we are now going to go from quadratic form to vertex form, think about where we are and what we need to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that f of x, and we're just going to let it be y. So y equals There we go. y equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 15. So that's the first step. Next step, we are going to take the constant, which is 15, and we're going to move it out of the way to um, give us a little more room to complete the square. So if 15 is positive on the right, it will be negative on the left. So y minus 15 equals 3x squared minus 12x. Next thing we're going to do is we need to complete the square. And in order to do that, we are going to factor out a. Remember, a is 3. a is 3. So if a is 3, that's the only part that's going to come out. Not the entire greatest common factor, but just a. So y minus 15 equals 3 times x squared minus 4 x. So now inside the parentheses we're setting ourselves up to complete the square. So let's do that. y minus 15 equals 3 times x squared minus 4x plus a blank. And I should also put a plus a blank on the other side because we're going to complete the square but focus on what is inside of the parentheses. Put your finger on that middle term. The middle term is 4. Half of 4 is 2. Now, I know it's negative 4, but if you want to think negative 2, that's fine as well. Now, to complete a square, half of 4 is 2, we just square that number. 2 squared is 4. So, inside of the parentheses, we have added 4. But, what have we really added to the right-hand side? So since this 4 is inside the parentheses, it is under the influence of that 3. So technically, we have not just added 4, we have added 3 times 4, which is 12. So 12 is going to get added to the left-hand side. Remember, we want to keep our equation balanced. In order to keep it balanced, Whatever we add on the right, which is 3 times 4, must also be added to the left. So now, let's combine like terms on the left. That's y minus 3 equals 3 times. Now we have a perfect square trinomial on the right. Factors of 4 that add up to negative 4 are negative 2 and negative 2, better known as x minus 2 squared. Now, we want one last step to get us to that vertex form. That one last step is to now move that constant back. So negative on the left, positive on the right, y equals 3 times x minus 2 squared plus 3. So now we can clearly see that our vertex is going to be at 2, 3, and you see our a value is still 3. So this is still a parabola. It's going to open up. It's going to be tall and skinny. And it's going to have a vertex at the bottom. That vertex will be its 
minimum point, and the domain will be all real numbers, and the range will be everything bigger than three. So three and bigger. So let's move on to the next problem. Similar situation. We're gonna go through the steps again, just a little bit faster this time. Remember, this is a quadratic form. We are trying to go to the vertex form. Y equals A times X minus H squared plus K. This is where we're going. So what are we gonna take out first? Oh, first we're gonna move the K over, sorry. Change it to Y, move the K over. Let's do that in one step. So Y plus 199 equals negative 8x squared minus 80x. Remember, 199 was negative on the right, therefore it will be positive on the left. Next, take out a. y plus 199 equals negative 8 times x squared negative 80 divided by negative 8 plus 10x. So we have factored out the a. This parabola has a equal to negative eight. It will be very, very tall and skinny, but it will be opening down because a is negative. Next, we will complete the square with what is inside of the parentheses. So we can cover up everything but the x squared plus 10. Okay, so x squared plus 10x, plus a blank. So half of 10 is 5. Remember, it's the middle term divided by 2, and we will square it. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 squared is 25. So we have completed a perfect square trinomial. But what have we actually added to the right-hand side. Remember, this is inside the parentheses that 25 is under the influence of the negative 8. So what have we actually added on the right? We have actually added negative 8 times 25. That is negative 200. So that means negative 200 also has to be added, or in this case subtracted from, the left-hand side. So now we can simplify and factor. 199 minus 200 is 1, so y minus 1 equals negative 8. Now let's factor. Factors of 25 that add up to 10 are 5 and 5, so x plus 5 squared. This is our vertex form. Our vertex is at, whoop the one over. Bam. Now that's a better looking vertex form. This is our vertex form. Our vertex is at negative 5, positive 1. The parabola is opening down. So this will be a max point of a vertex. Our domain is still all real numbers as it is for every parabola. Our range is going to be everything smaller than 1, so that is negative infinity to 1. There you go. Those are the steps in changing a quadratic form to a vertex form.